The CEO of Google will testify before Congress next week as the tech giant faces allegations of bias against conservatives. That hearing comes months after a video was released showing the extreme political bias of Google executives. When America's Rachel Roboto has more on the outrage the company's leaders displayed following President Trump's election victory. President Trump's 2016 election win apparently drove Google executives up a wall. In a video obtained by Brett Bart, Google leaders are seen voicing outrage over President Trump's win during a company meeting weeks after the election. Google's co-founder, Sergey Brin, said he is extremely offended by the results, adding the election outcome is not reflective of the company's values. As an immigrant and a refugee, um, I, I certainly find this election uh, deeply offensive, and I know many of you do too. Um, and, and I think it's a very stressful time, uh, and it uh, conflicts with many of our values. The election outcome was apparently so offensive, it drove some Google executives close to tears. As we started to see the direction of the voting, I reached out to someone close to me who was at the Javits Center where the big celebration was supposed to occur in New York City, somebody who had been working on the campaign. And um, I just sent him a note and said, are, you know, are you okay? It looks like it's going the wrong way. And I got back a very sad short text um, that read, people are leaving, staff is crying, we're going to lose. Uh, that was the first moment I really felt like we were going to lose. When co-founder Sergey Brin was asked by an employee if there was any upside to President Trump's win, Brin seemed to be at a loss for words. Is there anything positive you see from this election result? <laughs> Oof. Uh, boy, that's, that's a really tough one right now. He later told employees of the company's future plans to control content online. That's being spread by what he called low-information voters. He went on to compare Trump voters to fascists and contributed the large support the Trump campaign received to pure boredom. The data suggests that boredom led to the rise of fascism and also to the communist revolution. I mean, there were many other factors, too. Um, but, uh, you know, it sort of sneaks up uh, sometimes, you know, really bad things. So I think it's, it's worth being very vigilant and thinking about all these issues. What can we do to lead to maybe a better quality of governance, decision making and so forth? The newly released video comes after inner email sent by company employees show Google tried to boost voter turnout among Latino voters to help get Hillary Clinton elected only to be disappointed to find 29% of Latinos actually voted for Trump. It also comes as the Federal Trade Commission investigates concerns Google now dominates the world's access to information online. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.